Thanks for joining us tonight. Cassville is still reeling from multiple tragedies that happened over the course of a few weeks, but community members and police say the death of a missing doctor, two teens, and a man's murder is not the norm. Color 10 Cindy Moran is live in Cassville after speaking with police who say these incidents are rare. Well, the last time there was a homicide here in Cassville was over a decade ago. Police and neighbors say Cassville is a tight knit community, making a murder almost unheard of. A lot of people probably still to this day sleep with their doors unlocked. Cassville is home for Jana Anthony. I was born and raised here and I left for a while, but I've been back at least uh, 35 years, 40 years. On Thursday, you would find Anthony and her grandkids at a park enjoying the sunny day. You could still live in a small town and feel safer than living in a big city. That's why news crews covering four deaths in just three weeks creates an unsettling feeling. It's almost like a, a story somebody's written. You know, it feels so untrue because this just doesn't happen. I've lived here my whole life, so... Yeah, it is out of the ordinary. On June 3rd, police responded to Miller Storage, where they found Andy Hunter dead with stab wounds. We don't normally have homicides. And the last one, I believe, the last homicide we worked was in 2011. Prior to the stabbing, police found the body of missing Cassville doctor John Forsyth on May 30th in Arkansas. Then on May 31st, two teens tragically died in a motorcycle crash. This is such a big deal because it all happened so quickly. But interim police chief Donald Privet says the community should not be concerned. They've all been isolated and there is no threat to the public whatsoever. On the recent homicide, we do have a suspect in custody. He was taken in custody within uh, two minutes of officers being on scene. The victim's brother, J.D. Hunter, says the family appreciates the Cassville and Seligman Police Departments for their quick work investigating this case and for going out of their way to assist the family. But the shock still sits with the community. Always watch out for one another and always watch out for your neighbor.